Hello, today we'll talk about Gambit program. Gambit is a program used to create uh, 3D or 2D geometries that will be used later in uh, Fluent uh, ANSYS Fluent for uh, Fluent analysis uh, using ANSYS Workbench. So Gambit uh, Gambit is used uh, usually for creating 2D. Uh, geometries or uh, shapes that will be uh, forced to have an analysis flow analysis, analysis and flow analysis uh, on ANSYS workbench so uh, uh, as we see uh, this is uh, we will see how a uh, gambit is used to uh, make a 2d geometry uh, maybe Gambit is uh, a little bit uh, old but it is uh, used widely until now in designing because uh, it's quality and uh, it's uh, and it's uh, resolution of making a mesh and uh, it's offer a lot of uh, options that is helpful in the analysis and simplify the analysis okay let's see uh, this is uh, as we see, uh, this is uh, uh, we have uh, four bottoms. We have uh, nodes, uh, lines, faces, and uh, geometry. First of all, we make four uh, nodes. Uh, these nodes uh, are used uh, to make uh, a line. As we click here, if I make it a line, I will uh, point this line and click apply. Uh, I forget the fourth line. Now, these four slides can uh, make a space or an area. So, now I will select uh, area from geometry, or I can uh, make a nodes in the center to make a center and make a center. Notes. Okay. Now, as we see, just focus. I will make a circle. Okay. I will make an arc from this vertex and endpoints. This are the endpoints. I will apply, and I will do the same right here until a circle is found it okay okay now i will make a face i will click on the lines and make it a face uh, not the color is change now I will make another face okay now we have two faces okay now we have to uh, subtract this face from this face so I will click on subtract uh, this is the face and this is the second face and now they are subtracted from each other and everyone uh, the, the rectangular that not, does not include the circular surface okay now i will go to mesh and uh, we will uh, create new mesh all right okay now i will go to mesh and i will uh, can ch choose linear mesh face mesh now i will click on the first i want to mesh it and decide uh, the interval size and uh, now he is making the nodes and as we see here it's a number of elements and iteration now he make if i can change the type of the element i will make it a triangle and remove all mesh okay Okay. 
now is creating nodes and solving the mesh again okay as we see it's now a triangle or a quad I didn't mesh okay now we will go to zones and decide which one is the inlet and which is the an outlet and which is the wall This will be a wall, and I will name it wall. I will click on OK. And this will be another wall. This is a very important step because we will use it in Kansas workbench later. This will be inlet and uh, let's make it an uh, velocity inlet or pressure inlet let's choose inlet vent okay this will be an output of outlet out floor and we'll name it out okay now we almost we go back and see what will happen if we still going back ok this face and I will make it a face or oh, delete it okay thank you for watching and hope that you now understand the answers and how to uh, make a 2D geometry from answers and how to mesh it and uh, how to uh, decide which is the inlet and the outlet and which one will be uh, walls as we see as uh, there is a geometry a mesh and zones and this is our options now these three Buttons are the, are the main buttons. Under each one, there is nodes, line, face that can be used. Hope uh, let's uh, see in the next uh, lesson. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye.